today is uh, contemporary instrumental music. Uh, you can say it's a mix between jazz, rock and world music. That's my musical genre. I play what I play uh, mostly because of the freedom involved, but also uh, my love for music and to express myself. My inspiration to express myself through music uh, differs. Uh, it, it can be sometimes when we were touring in Egypt that you're in the middle of the city and uh, it's 24 million people and uh, traffic and everybody is on their horn and, and uh, one hour later you're uh, sitting in a pyramid meditating and uh, for me it's a lot, uh, it has to uh, do a lot with life and the process of life. I began playing from the beginning was that my actually my mother she applied for me to the Kommunala Music School and that's like public music school and uh, uh, well she asked me what instrument I wanted to play so I said guitar and she applied for me to play guitar and but they said no you can't play at that age I think I was were like 10 11 years old and because you have two small hands at that age totally stupid and uh, so, there, so I actually began playing piano instead and then later on drums and then later on uh, guitar also so at one point I actually studied both piano, drums and, and guitar at the Kommunal Music School. Uh, I remember when I was just before my uh, second or third uh, birthday I have a photo from Christmas Eve when I I got an, a guitar, an acoustic small guitar, and uh, uh, when I play, I have a photo when I'm playing that guitar, and it looks like I've always done that already. <laughs> Why guitar? <laughs> you know, it's got a female body and lots of sensual power within it. <laughs> Success, well, success to me has many faces. Um, the strongest face, so to speak, for me is that you feel yourself that when you're writing music, you're playing music, you're 
breaking some new territory and that you're making music magic that you can feel that yourself uh, that's the most important thing but then you got the other aspect of success that you can make a that you're making a good living very good living out of playing your music and writing your music. The third phase of the aspect of success, uh, that's when media calls you a success. That's one thing, reviews and radio and stuff like that. And there's another aspect also of success for me, and that's when if uh, when, when Joe Zavinul or Pat Metheny would say that Anatoly Bulkin, he is uh, one of the best and most unique guitarists and composers living today. My driving force and my prime mover is my dharma. My dharma is to make music and play music. And I feel that if I don't do that, I'm not me. And I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good at all, actually, if I don't do that. So it's uh, for good or for worse, better or worse, it's it's... It's my dharma. If you're only sitting in, in your house being creative, so to speak, composing what you think is wonderful music, and there's no audience, what will you do with it? It's also in my dharma. I feel that I will I, I want to lift other people's souls 